All right, so it is day two, August 12th, and we are at the scene of where my food was hanging last night. <laughs> and I took some pictures of the carnage, but a bear got my food. It was hanging right up there. I think what it did was climbed halfway up, swiped out with its hand, cut the bottom of my bag, everything dropped to the ground, and then it ate it. So the pictures are interesting, but there was just a nice slice around the bottom of my bag and all the food was gone. So we actually heard it happen because I was camped with my new friend Damien. Sorry it's shaky, my hands are really cold. Um, we heard it happen, we came out through rocks at the bear. He left and with our headlamps it looked like my food was still hanging so we went back to bed. It turns out the bag was still hanging but the bottom had been cut out and he came back after we went to bed and ate every little last scrap, all 10 or 12,000 calories. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do now. I have no food and two full days of hiking if I were to keep going. So, almost 80 miles of hiking with no food. Um, so that's not gonna happen. Pretty frustrating. Um, I, I probably seem okay with it at this point because I've had a, a couple hours to <laughs> internalize it and figure out what I do moving forward. Uh, but I'm really frustrated. I've trained for a long time for this. And now it's not happening. So I think my best bet at this point is to hike back the way I came toward Tuolumne Meadows. Tuolumne Meadows is only about eight miles behind me, and I can take a tram there. Well, first of all, I can get food there. Damien was nice enough to give me some cream of wheat for breakfast, but he couldn't spare any more food. He still has another week and a half on the trail. Um, so hike back to Tuolumne Meadows, and hopefully I can take a tram to my car in Yosemite, and then figure it out from there. I don't, I suppose I could, drive somewhere to where my resupply food is, hike in and get that, and do the last half of my trip, although that does not sound fun. I wanted to do this as an event. Um, so I don't know. I'm going to have a lot of time today to think about what I do moving forward, but what I can say is this is not going to be the last time the John Muir Trail sees me, although next time I'm going to have to figure out a better way to keep bears out of my food. Those bear cans, you know, that are required here, just way too much and they take up too much room. A bear can will not fit in the little pack that I have, so I don't know how to fast pack. Maybe bears are so aggressive and smart now that you can't fast pack it, unsupported at least. So, I don't know. Anyway, I have many hours today to think about what I'm going to do with my week. Pretty frustrated, but... I guess in everything there is a learning experience. So far what I've learned is I need to protect my food better. It was hanging a good 15, 20 feet up there. Smart bear. All right, it is what it is, over and out. <laughs>